Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christie. My name is Dr. Christie Reisinger, and today I'd like to speak to all the parents out there worried about COVID-19 and your kids. I personally have four children myself, and I understand the overwhelming concern and fear that we all have about protecting our children. I'd like to give you guys the most recent updates, but help you realize that the data is coming in at rapid speeds and often changes. We've always known that children of all ages can contract COVID-19, but often their symptoms are either none at all or mild or moderate. They usually recover within one to two weeks, but we have seen infants younger than one year of age and children with underlying conditions having more severe infections. Most of the initial COVID-19 cases in children were contracted with household exposure or due to recent travel. The most common symptoms are fever and cough, but many, many other symptoms can occur as well, such as gastrointestinal symptoms like diarrhea. Data up until April 13th showed that less than 5% of cases of COVID-19 were in children ages zero to 18 years of age. There have been a few theories about why children overall have experienced less symptoms of COVID-19. We think it may be due to their naive immune systems, immaturity of the ACE2 receptors, which is the gateway for SARS-CoV to get into the cells and replicate, underdeveloped immune responses because of their young age, or because children get recurrent viral infections during childhood, their immunoglobulins may be higher and therefore more protective against a novel virus such as the novel coronavirus. But recently, 73 children in New York State and about 20 or so other children around the United States have been diagnosed with an illness associated with COVID-19. It's being called Pediatric Multi-Symptom Inflammatory Syndrome. This syndrome occurs after recovery from COVID-19. And interestingly enough, some of the children have had no symptoms of COVID-19. Most of these children are healthy and we think it's occurring because of an immune response in these children that's overly aggressive, meaning that the antibodies that have been produced after exposure to COVID-19 go on and continue to attack the children's bodies. This syndrome is not contagious. It has features similar to Kawasaki disease, which is a disease that causes inflammation of the blood vessels taking blood back to the heart. It also has features similar to toxic shock syndrome, which can cause low blood pressure and rash. The patients that we know about so far are between the ages of two to 15, have all been healthy, have had no obvious symptoms of COVID-19. The symptoms that have been seen with the syndrome are persistent fever, abdominal pain, vomiting, diarrhea, a rash anywhere on the body, including the palms and the soles of the feet, conjunctivitis or red irritated eyes, an enlarged lymph node on one side of the neck, red cracked lips or a swollen tongue that looks like a strawberry or swollen hands or feet. If your child is exhibiting these symptoms, call your pediatrician immediately. These children have been treated in the hospital and most recover. I do wanna emphasize that this syndrome is very, very rare. We're going to continue to learn more about it in the months to come, but at this point, it's thought to be a post-infectious syndrome. Thanks again for joining me.